as slavery exists now, today. It's not just a thing of the past. I mean, that's what I thought, you know, living in my American bubble. You know, there's no slaves today. We got rid of that in the 1800s. Slavery in today's age? Why? <laughs> Why should it exist? Their slave masters come up to me and say, What are you here doing with my animals? Or what are you here doing with my property? I own these people. They just need to be given a few fish, a few bananas, something small, so that they can come back and work the next day, so that they're hungry enough that they have to come back and work the next day. We have to fight this. People are worth fighting for. My name is Justin Wren. At 13 years old, I want to be a UFC fighter. I started fighting professionally. At 19 years old, I was on a reality TV show called The Ultimate Fighter when I was 21. I was the main event at the Hard Rock in Las Vegas when I was 23. And since then, I've come here to Congo. Fighting in a cage under a ton of lights and getting my hand raised, that was, it was cool. It was cool, but it wasn't great. I was fighting against people, but really I was just supposed to be fighting for people. They're sweet, loving, amazing people. And why, why should these sweet, loving, amazing people be literally thought of and believed to be animals whenever they're these sweet, loving, amazing people. One of the main reasons for their slavery is because they don't have land. They don't own land for themselves. And so because of that, the land that they were always living on was stolen from them. They come in, they steal the land from them, and if they're gonna live there, they're gonna enslave the pygmies there because they can use them for whatever they want. Whatever they want, whatever they need, and make sure that they are stuck in a cycle of slavery. It would be foolish of us to come to the slave masters and say, hey, we want to set your people free. So you have to go at it in a respectful way to both parties. You can't love one side and hate the other. Because if you do that, it's only going to cause more problems for the people you're trying to love. We came in saying, hey, how can we partner with both of you? What can we do to give solution for this? So we sat down and we said, I think, we have to make a team that can go to lobby those Bantu can give some part of the land back to Pygmy. The land purchases were huge for, you know, giving them some land of their own that they could be free on. But water was what really softened the hearts of their oppressors, softened the hearts of their masters. Congo is, uh, is one of the regions in Africa which has a lot of fresh water, but people are dying from waterborne diseases. And most of the people dying of waterborne diseases are pygmies. The big thing is, is that you're barely making it with the vitamins and nutrients that you have in your body, especially when you're being paid a minnow for a day's labor. But then to know that that minnow is going out of your system before your body can even absorb it, because filthy water is keeping you from being able to, to digest your food. <laughs> One of our partners is Water4, and it's an incredible organization that is a game changer and, and, and a lifesaver in this region. I've seen it with my own eyes. They gave me the tools when I had none, and they gave me the knowledge when I didn't know anything about how to get water. And to get the full weight of this project, to know that not only was it kind of a bargaining tool with the non bantu uh, to, to say, we'll make this available to you. We'll make this opportunity for water available for you if you will release these pygmies. 
It was mind-blowing in every way possible. It's worth anything. It's worth everything to, to struggle, to grit, to fight. We have to fight. And to see freedom happening, whether that's freedom from literal slavery, which is happening now, or freedom from waterborne disease. If somebody just got to be here and experience what I'm getting to experience, yeah, it's crazy, yeah, it's hard, but it's amazing and it's awesome and I love them. Maisha tu iko nzuri mambo. Hmm, tulikuwa sasa batumo hapo. Sasa tunakuwa bie. Sie tunaanza ku kulima, tunaanza kupanda, tunaanza ku kitu yote. Hata tunaikala. I would love to say to anyone supporting Water for thank you. You're not just giving clean water to people, but for me, for my pygmy family, like you're literally helping free people. I've seen people set free, bro. I mean, I've, I've seen people set free.